we are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to all the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel to all the subscribers welcome back all i ask for in return is for you to smash that like button tell me know you watch this video helps out the youtube channel and lets me know you'll appreciate the time and effort i put into making these videos so here we are with prog and it has skyrocketed since yesterday it dipped today in the pre-market and it has continued to go higher this is still one of the top short squeeze score stocks in the moments as i speak we're going to go over all the data what the short interest is and how things are looking on the chart based off of 42 vision and on the one day and 30 minute but before i do and jump into everything here with prog i want to share with you guys the two home run opportunities i mentioned this morning over at the discord and if that's something that you want to become part of you can check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day every single week and we're going to jump right into it here with prog the home runs of the day were spectacular and even though the s p 500 index continues to pull down lower and portfolios are in the red or sitting sideways I will continue to look for opportunities daily, and this is something you can become part of as well. We strive for opportunities of home runs like today, every single day, and by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So these are the stocks I mentioned this morning. NTRB, RRD, and GWH. RRD turned out to be our worst performer, giving small jumps of 3 to 5%, 5 to 10%, but let's go ahead and look at these home runs, how they performed, and when I mentioned them. So GWH was sitting sideways and starting to pull itself up and picking up volume in the pre-market. When I mentioned it, it was around $13.40, and it hit highs here of nearly $29, giving a highest point of 100% plus. And here you can see it with 42 Vision, a clear move of strength. And even in the moments of weakness with the red borders, you can see it there. It still stayed green and it still continued to push up, hitting newer highs and new resistance levels and breaking out with strength. Now, the other home run of the day was NTRB. This one was a little bit different. It had dipped and it jumped up and consolidated. And towards the bell, it fell. And you can see her again with 42 vision, which you can gain access to as well by joining the 42 vision tier level. It brings out the clarity in the charts. You can see the weakness here until it finally did a transition and shift and it took off to a highest point of 25% plus in a matter of minutes, guys. This is what we strive for every day. You can become part of this as well. Check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us and let's jump into the charts. So here we are with PROG on 42 Vision, and you can see clearly here one of the most extremely oversold areas of weakness down here when the white candlesticks and red borders came up. And when the shift started to happen, consolidation and strength has came in as you see it here in the charts. But before we actually look at this chart, I want to share with you guys when I started talking about this. So if it's your first time coming across this channel, I want to say welcome and want to let you know that sometimes... I talk about stocks when the best opportunity based off the charts is showing and the way i see that is due to the fact of 42 vision and not only that you can gain access to as well joining 42 vision tier level but without that most of the stocks that i talk about here that are setting up to possibly squeeze it doesn't make sense in the moment because a lot of the hype has faded and also the charts just look ugly but based off of technicals and the data there's a possible opportunity. So I'm talking about things way before they're possibly able to happen so that investors and viewers have enough time to prepare. It's like you don't want to rush into something. If not, you want to prepare yourself for it. So if it actually stayed above the support here of 121 all week last week and it hit a low here of 129, you know, I would have probably as an investor, let's just say third party, I'm not looking at the way I see things, just any investor, I would have probably tried it out and said, you know what, I'm going to try to take a shot here, put a stop loss limit order. Things are looking like it tried to bring itself up, fell back down. We're going to see what happens. And if not, I get stopped out and I lose 5% or something like that, because that's the risk of trying, right? I talk about that a lot over at the Patreon and Discord. And if it doesn't fall down 5% and it starts curvaturing and you see it go back up, you know, it went up nearly 10 to 20% from 
from 129 and those lows all the way up here to 140 and then that same morning it took off to 170 and then the strength just started to come nearly doubling guys right actually more than doubling like almost a whole entire 110 to 20 percent at these highs here of 269 and by the looks of it with all the data that we're going to share here prog is just getting started right but we still want to be careful because the higher this goes the riskier it gets and also it's broken through the most recent high of 220 so things are a little bit different here and we got to reanalyze it but what i want you guys to know is that when you come across these videos you want to soak in the data as much as you can not skip through it if not absorb it all and prepare yourself because the best way to maximize on an opportunity is all about timing and timing has to do with preparation and knowing things before they happen everyone that's chasing prog today and yesterday they're at higher risk than anyone that was preparing all week last week and that's what it's all about here in my channel in the discord so if you want to know about opportunities before anything even happens on the daily on the weekly you're going to want to check out the link down below to the discord so what's going on here right it's pushing upwards it brought itself back down and now it actually rejected and it's holding itself up at these levels trying to consolidate okay based off of 42 vision on the 30 minute their strength we're going to look at the one day but let me show you guys when i first mentioned this which is actually going to be looking just like what happened right here you're going to see it in the chart i mentioned that it was actually back on october 5th after the overreaction of the fourth it tried bringing itself back up and it went into extreme weakness here based off the chart and you could see it there and i started saying that this may not make sense now it may be a little bit early but preparation and knowing about this now is going to allow every single investor and viewer be aware of the possibility that you want to watch this before Wednesday, right? Because this could have happened any moment after Wednesday. It could happen on Thursday. It could happen on Friday. It could happen on Monday. And it actually all started, if you look back here, this week. So it even started running after that point going into Wednesday, though. If you actually look at it, it ran. And that was the point when I mentioned it. Hit lows here of 121. And it went to highs here of 155 nearly a 10 to 20 percent move so even without this run here it was still a decent swing trade opportunity after i had made that video and i had stated of a possible upward tick came back down stayed above that support of 121 and here we have it a short squeeze opportunity plus the reason behind yesterday's run that actually got the shorts trapped and yesterday's run i made a video on it it had to do with the news on a patent on one of their FDA clearances GI track medicine so this is big news and this is a big deal and after it ran up so much and it pulled itself back down 120 was not that far from the 52 week low in the 60s and it still held itself up it didn't break through a dollar which was very important or even 121 it held up and here we have it taking off after the news and then in the middle of it there's a short squeeze possibly happening and we're going to talk about here how it's the number one short squeeze score list and you could see here the short interest is 22 percent the days to cover has gone up a little bit it's 0.13 and then we have a borrow fee rate of 85 and the short squeeze score is 97.83 guys this is a big deal due to the fact that the amount of short interest that the stock has is creating right the possible opportunity beyond just hype and speculation for this to take off even further but we still have to watch it carefully due to the fact that the days to cover is pretty low giving some flexibility to the shorts and you could see here how the short interest of the short volume right ratio yesterday went up a little bit we'll have to see if it can go lower and also there's some short shares available here last updated 17 minutes ago as i'm doing this video but the days to cover does give them some type of flexibility at the end of the day the news that came out is pretty big and if the bulls continue to push this up they will need to break through the new high they broke through the most recent high 220 if they can stay above that that is definitely a sign of strength and if they can break through today's high of 269 270 if you want to round it up they could be well on their way closer to 280 and upwards towards three dollars and plus above that right we'll have to see because the shorts 
are covering in the middle of all of this, but there's some shorts that are possibly holding to see if things fade away. And if it doesn't, this could have another leg up and push up even beyond what we've seen in the chart so far. And based off the history of this stock, there is some levels here to watch, which is up here at the 270 mark, like you see it right there. And then all the way back up here towards $4. And those are those highs from way back in July. It's getting close to filling up that gap here of that 370 mark. If it can break through that, it will actually have another gap to fill towards $4. And it's going to be super interesting moving forward for a possible short squeeze effect. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.